Johannes Tingisbo. Remember, he's looking for his fifth successive sprint win of the season. Five go down. Uh, now he's going to keep the pressure on. Well, here's a man who was the second fastest in terms of course time. Ponsoloma, he misses number four. Number five goes down. Now, what about uh, Emilia Jacqueline? A man who will be looking forward to the World Championships, trying to defend the pursuit title that he won in Pacuca and he won here in Antox as well. Can he make it three out of three? Here he is. Beautiful focus, oh. one of the cleanest <laughs> shoots we've seen from him. 25.7, Ligrid has to get five. Well done, well done. It makes you nervous when uh, it doesn't go down. Jacamel has done it. Yeah, expensive miss from Christiansen. Second fastest into the range. Nice shoot from Martin. Ponsoloma. Johannes is looking totally exhausted, went out fast early. But just look at that time. Johannes Tingisbo pretty much securing the victory here. Roman Rees top 10 in terms of his ski speed on the first lap. Oh, but that adds another 25. The only man that could live with the speed set by Johannes Tingisbo in last weekend's mass start but look at the time in between the shots 6.4 4.3 2.2 to the end that's better but Christiansen uh, I think probably resigned uh, to racing for a podium finish he was seventh fastest coming in here comes Ponsoloma first two laps were very strong he's faded on the last one Roman Rees the crowd getting louder and louder as he goes Christiansen is safe in four last time we saw him out on the tracks. He was in fifth place, just a couple of seconds down on Christiansen. Oh, he pipped him. He pipped him. Well, oh. that's an extraordinary run, an excellent effort from Rees to pull that back. On first place, and we